Hello everyone. Today we are going to implement a way to customize waiting time for these patrolling characters. By waiting, waiting time, what I mean is this character. This character is patrolling to this point and comes back and goes again and comes back. Mm -hmm. So here I am going to implement this patrol wait time and also wait time deviation. So this time will be waiting at the end before this character start to come back and for this character since this guy is going in a circular path I have set these variables to zero so he will be walking around this cube continuously so yeah that's what I'm going to work on in how to add those parameters to customize the behavior of this you see this guy is continuously walking and this guy stops at the end about and about four seconds and comes back and after coming here he will again wait like four seconds and before he return okay now let's see how we have this additional parameters to do Okay, so now in the patrolling system, you can see if I simulate this, these characters, these characters go at this point and back to this point, and this guy is going to around this cube. So now the issue I'm facing is now this guy is waiting some time here and simulate. This guy waiting at the end makes sense. But for the guy who's going in circular or in circular path, it may not make sense to like wait in each point. So what I want to do is define a way to implement in a way to define how long a character should wait at the end at the end of any factor at any given factor point so right so how long it waits in a factor point is defined in this node in this wait node in our duty behavior tree so this behavior tree is uh, a subtree in the main behavior tree ALS VT AI character. So this is the main behavior tree and duty is this one. Okay, so now what I want to do is here when I select the character under AI I need to have another variable and from that variable the character should decide how long it should wait so let's open the npc character uh, let's npc patrolling right so should i add that variable here or in the main npc character the parent npc character so wait time in a patrol point only relevant to these patrolling NPCs so I don't think I have to add that variable in this parent NPC character blow so on the AI here I'll add a new variable wait time patrol wait time Let's put it under AI and change the variable type to float. Uh, actually, it could be a int also because it, we can define it like one second, two second, three second, but float will also work, not an issue. 
right and I'll make this public and by default I'll make it one okay and I'll add another variable petrol weight uh, random deviation so the I will be using this if I want to give some randomness to the wait time okay so now we have two variables wait time and wait time random deviation so the deviation should be a value less than the wait time so I'll put point two for now we can customize it now we need a way to get the wait time into this ls uh, into this behavior tree so uh, so instead of this wait time um, let's create a custom task but before that I need a way to access this so this uh, NPC character implements the CLMBPI NPC interface so here I'll add a function get wait time it should be under here and output value should be a float wait time okay mm. now let's implement this git wait time in the patrolling ls and busy patrolling and uh, interfaces AI get wait time so let's get these two variables petrol wait time and petrol wait time deviation then uh, to this add uh, random float in range maximum would be the wait time minimum would be this wait time multiplied by minus one and one more thing to note is if this is a negative value then minimum value would be larger than the maximum value so I'll get the absolute value of these two if I set the set this value by mistake as a negative value to prevent that okay and that's the wait time then um, okay then here sorry that's the behavior tree yeah here we need to have a new task as i said so new task uh, pt task blueprint base then i'll name it as bt task wait right now here we can override receive execute here 
from the controlled or we can get wait time and the delay and wait that delay wait this time in the delay and finish execute with the success okay uh, now here instead of this wait we can uh, use bt task wait but here one more thing under class settings display name wait wait why isn't this available Okay. Wait it ask wait. Mm. Wait. This has to be uh, different from the default wait, otherwise it can be confusing. So wait yeah. given time. Oh duty wait yeah since this is inside duty and it's relevant to duty i'll call it duty wait oh not name why isn't it changed all right anyway it's not important duty wait okay now delete this wait and now here if I set the wait time to zero and deviation also to zero the character should work So, if we need to further customize, let's set this guy to wait 4 seconds and for circular wedge, it is ok. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.